Here's a flower. Come on. There's a flower. I just gave you flowers. You should give me more flowers. Love and Hip Hop Atlanta star Jocelyn Hernandez made an appearance on Wednesday's episode of The Wendy Williams Show, and things got tense. We agree to disagree. The 34-year-old TV personality came on the daytime talk show to chat about season two of her series, Jocelyn's Cabaret Atlanta. But things quickly went south shortly after Wendy started the interview. You know, Miss Wendy, I, I just must say this to you first. I hope you're gonna give me my flowers today. I hope you're gonna honor how much work I've put out there. I'm an accomplished woman, and I just feel like every time I come to your show, you don't give me those flowers now, you know? And you're, Wendy, you're 35 years my, my city. Wow, yeah. I should, I should, I should get those flowers Shame. by you. I should feel, I should feel, I should feel wanted by people like you. Wendy tried to assure Jocelyn that she finds her very entertaining, but Jocelyn wasn't convinced. We feel like you be trying us. We feel like you don't be, really rooting for us, you know, we feel like, and especially with me, every time I come on your show, you always want to compare me to another broad. I don't need to be compared. I've, I've made my own brand. I'm, I've made my own brand for years, you know? I've been out here for the, the past decade. I got my own show. I franchised my own show to another network. It's, I, I have the number one show in the country. That's when Wendy chimed in to fact check her guest. I, I know. Have an no, show. no, you have the number and one show like on Zeus, and you got renewed for a third the season, which show, is to be commended. The number one show in the country, Miss Wendy. It's okay. The reality TV star went on to say she feels undervalued, and Wendy, she said the feeling is mutual. Every time I come on here, you feel you undervalued. Know, well, so do I. Okay, that's it, it, you know what, Jocelyn, because you're part of pop culture, this is what I do. But if you possibly think that I leave here every day and don't feel undervalued for something that I do, you know, as a woman, we're not going to even talk about race. Just as a woman, I still don't make that dollar for dollar men make. So please, anyway, shoe cam, please. Let me see your shoes. But it didn't stop there. Like really? Like are you serious? The two went tit for tat, and at one point, Wendy threw an actual flower at Jocelyn's screen. Here, here's a flower, come on. There's a flower, I just gave you flowers. You should give me more flowers. She even asked the producers to call it a day on the segment. Oh, anybody disrespect me? Did we just pull the plug? The what what, what is going out. on? Jocelyn, Jocelyn. Yo, yo, let me tell you, your no, producer Jocelyn. knew that I feel like this. Jo I told him how I felt. No, yeah, he told me that you that yelled at him the whole time, the producer on the phone. But by the end of the interview, the two appeared to be on better terms. You were here before me, I don't want to take your spot. I just want, I just want to do what I do. You want your fair share of the pie and you're getting it. Jocelyn, my Puerto Rican princess, good luck with everything. You really have always been a go-getter with that drive to make it on your own. So I trust that it won't stop. As for Wendy, E.T. caught up with the talk show host in January, and she shared that she landed a multi-project deal with Lifetime, and she hopes to teach a course in communications in the future. I like doing something besides this talk show, because this is not going to last forever. And being on TV in front of the camera is fun. I love doing this, but I'm realistic, and I know it's not going to last forever. I would like to go into the classroom. I would like to be a professor. I feel as though people are sending their kids to college, and for four years you're being taught by a bunch of professors and teachers who haven't even done what your kids are studying to do. So. I would like to get into that classroom action. And I would like to actually start doing that before the talk show is over and then keep it going, you know, forever. Get in that classroom, talk to these kids, be the professor, not a lecturer for one day, but teach a course in the communications department because the parents' pockets deserve that. 